now welcome to this video too on python integrating the uh, mpesa api on python so the first thing we need to do you can come here at documentation uh, when you click at documentation you will see that you need to authenticate by authenticated you need to get an access token so an access token is like a, a, a key that or a key that you need to do uh, you need to have in order to do any apis that are in the deraja api so in this video we are going to create it on now uh in our code we will need to adjust something so that we can separate each and every api in its own file so first we need to add a new file in this folder this folder that you have created i will create a new file which i will name i will name it as uh view views dot pi then i'm going to write uh there uh here at the top of it i'm going to write from from uh django from django dot shortcut sorry shortcut shortcut import render then at that i have already uh here i will do this i will come back to this and create a path that will go to this file so this file which i've already created because i want to avoid coding the whole application and wasting time on it but instead you should be understanding the concept because i know you can code so here it is this is the uh, uh the function that we have created in a separate file uh for uh, uh, which is will handle the access token this is what you need to do in order to get that access token so it will return an access token here so in order to do that we will uh, now need to create a path that we when we reload in our browser it will show us that it is there so we write path path then i'm going to write here then i'm going to write here what i need to do i need to add in my browser so that uh you can uh, you can view the uh, it, it can run the function uh the function that we had created in this file so the next thing we need to do we need to import this file which is here the view file i'm going to write uh import import dot uh views uh, import dot uh import from uh views here this is what i'm going to do import from views then uh it means that this will when i reload this in my browser it will show this so here we need to add extra things so that we can get so i'm going to write uh from here i'm going to write from uh hyphen uh this function which is here this uh from uh, uh this file which is here is the file name from this file then run import this function so when i run this url in my browser it will run this function here so these are the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to add here the consumer key and the consumer secret from your app that you created in the first video which for mine is here so i'm going to do this uh show credential then i'm going to copy this credential then i'm going to paste the app key uh, this consumer key then i'm going to go back to my consumer secret then i'm going to paste it here so uh in the application that we were running here here i will do this so these are the i think we have an um, we have an issue which is here import uh this is this so I've, i think i've written something which is wrong uh here I instead i have interchanged this i'm going to do this then i'm going to do this then i'm writing from yeah i think this is the right syntax you will see here here i think what's there hmm need to know or oh, import from oh i know what i've not done uh 
what have I not done? Okay, so the error which is here, yeah, I think I've, it's a spelling mistake and some adjustment that I need to do. So I need, you can see here, I've written in wrong spelling the view with the view file. So I'm going to do this and I'm going to rename this file. And still, you can see we have also still have an error. So what I need to do, you can see here, I have write path access token. So this and it will reload this so what i need to do here i'm going to write views mm, i'm going to write here view dot so there view then uh, you can come back again and see uh views is not defined did you mean views oh so i need to write here s so we are going to check if our application will reload and see now it's okay now the next thing you need to do uh, i need to i need to um, i need to reload this so that we can test if this we are getting the access token from the uh the app that we created so i'm going to come to urls then copy this then come to the uh, website that we had run then write trash then do that then i'm going to reload it and see now we have an access token which is created successfully and that's how you can create an access token in this so see you in the next video